Morning, everyone. First of all, my hair and my clothing are like this because I literally just got out of bed. Um, after yesterday's exhaustion, we had to have a 12 hour sleep. So yesterday was the day that we drove back from Mugello from a Ferrari event all the way back to Monaco. And it was a pretty exhausting drive. So if you haven't seen that vlog, you should go check it out. What are we doing today? So as I'm talking to you, I'm discreetly gonna open the garage to help explain what we're up to today. But it's basically just a day at home in Monaco. It's gonna be nice to relax a bit, but we do still have some things to do. So, so you may remember the McLaren was living in the garage alongside the um, 1973 2.7 RS. So we still got the RS, but we've just this morning switched to McLaren for the FF, which we were seeing if it could fit in the garage because that's gonna be staying here, living in the garage for a little while. So that's gone in, which is good. It fits in nicely. These two, we've got the, the LT and the GT4 obviously, are going on a truck today. So we're figuring out when the truck's going to get here, where we're going to load them up, how we're going to do it. But uh, yeah, they're both going to go on a truck. I'm a bit worried the GT4 doesn't have a lift system, so hopefully we'll be able to go on the truck easily because it's kind of low, but it should be okay, I'm hoping. I'm pretty sad to see these cars going, so I've been doing a couple Instagram photos and stuff, so I have those in the Instagram bank for the future. Um, but don't they just look so good together? Anyway, seeing as I've just woken up, I reckon it's time to go get some brunch or something like that. Um, and then we're going to start figuring out how we're gonna load these bad boys up. I am heading up to a photo shoot location with Tim with the McLaren quickly. That's what's happening right now because he needs to do a couple photos and stuff of his car. So we're gonna head up there now. Tim's wearing a shirt, I'm still dressed like a bum. <laughs> we're um, polar opposites. Yeah, we're literally polar opposites right now. But yeah, just quick little photo shoot at the Tête du Chien usual location before heading back here and getting the cars ready to load up. Look at me, I'm literally in flip flops. But here we go. Let's hop on into the McLaren. Uh, ah, it's nice to be back in here. My seat's been moved forward. It's so sunny. Tim, look at him. Hello. <laughs> He's looking for a coin that's under the seat and that's been rattling about. It's um, really annoying. Have you found it? There are two. There are two. Well, I don't think we can really find out oh. at all. Do this photo shoot stuff and then uh, head on. Oh, it's chilly. We weren't allowed to stay at the photo shoot location for that long because the popo came, but hey ho. What we're doing now is we're getting a photo of all three of the cars lined up, the uh, hashtag blue crew. So Tim, where is it? There he is, is moving the GT4 quickly so that all the cars are nice and straight because it's a tiny bit wonky. Yeah, they do look pretty good with all three of them lined up like that. It's pretty cool. So there we go. That's basically the photo we're aiming for for Instagram. Let's get that done now. Perfectionism in its natural habitat. Ferrari is not quite straight. I don't know if you can see that, so we're gonna move it as well. So it doesn't look great in the photo, but these two are now perfectly straight. And me still dressed in my onesie at about 11, 11.20 at night. I'm also wearing a big coat because it's a bit chilly. I'm here with Tim, who's got the GT4 here. And basically, we're here to load the cars up. So it's been a bit later than we expected. We've had dinner and everything. I've come in the C class because we're gonna need to then go back and get the LT, but we're waiting on like a lay-by area on the motorway, um, which is where we decided we're gonna try and load the, the cars up. We don't really know what's going on. We're waiting for the truck. Hopefully we'll be here soon. In fact, he's here. There he is. I am now in the C class um, because, so we loaded the GT4 up. I couldn't vlog because I was dealing, the police showed up and we had to sort of explain what was going on and stuff. So I couldn't vlog, but that happened. Came back to get the LT while um, the guy who's loading the GT4 does his thing. I hate this car has a foot brake where you have to press with this foot. It's quite annoying. So anyway, so yeah, we came back to get the LT while they're loading the GT4. Now we're gonna bring that back. I'll film both cars. Hopefully the GT4 will already be on and we just have to wait for the LT to go up and we'll be done. In the truck, um, GT4 is being loaded. I was filming on this camera for Mr. Burton. We've still got the McLaren here to be loaded. It's late. We all sort of want to get this done and over with. 
but it's a big truck. It's plenty of space. We could have got a few more cars, to be honest. Tim should really buy more cars, especially in Jalou, so then we can fill this truck up. There we go. Both cars loaded up. McLaren's on board now as well. Um, they're going to be heading up now. How does it feel? It feels rather strange. I've sending seen, them away. I shipped one car and it was quite a big deal sending the McLaren down here a month ago. Um, it's quite a big deal sending two cars together. And it's closed. Bye.